embattled former public defender Matt Shirk now facing an uncertain future. Just a few hours ago, we learned that the Florida Bar is reviewing the grand jury's findings on Shirk from two years ago. At the time, the grand jury recommended Shirk resign, citing allegations of inappropriate relationships with women in his office and poor hiring practices. But four people he fired the day after he lost re-election got their jobs back this week. Thanks to Judge Charlie Kofer, he's the new public defender in town. One of those employees talked to our Lindsey Gardner today. Joe Frazier came to the I-Team to sound the alarm over Shirk's final few months in office. Big raises to his friends and pink slips to anyone against him. Well, tonight, Frazier is once again the I-T manager at the public defender's office. I think that the morale just in the first day has changed the entire outlook of the entire office. You can just see it immediately. Mm -hmm. I think most staffs were just relieved mm -hmm. to have that dark cloud removed. 2017 is off to a good start for Joe Frazier. He came to the I-Team last fall after he had been fired by now former public defender Matt Shirk. A move he said was in retaliation because as the IT manager for the office, Frazier saved the emails that were later involved in Shirk's hiring scandal involving two waitresses. Today, Frazier is walking back into the office he has called home for 21 years. Relieved. Um, it's good to come in a work environment mm -hmm. where you're not spied on and all these intrigue and backstabbing, mm -hmm. closed door and, you know, people doing all these crazy things. It's nice to come to work and work for a boss who's very professional, mm -hmm. has, has high standards. Do so you feel like the integrity is being restored? No, no question about it. No, no quite question about it. You can just, I can just tell you from just some of the dress code. I mean, just the way some, some of the folks dressed, I mean, on day, day one. His new boss, public defender, Judge Charles Kofer. Joe has worked hard and served the community well for many years. You know, people like that, when you see good people lose their job, you know, it's very difficult. And so I'm, I'm very happy that I'm able to bring them back. Now, Kofer and Frazier say the turmoil is behind the office and they are eager to get back to work. The best way that I think I can restore the trust amongst the people we represent is to focus purely on the representation of the people. I have to keep my focus that the best way I can restore trust within the community we serve is for me to do my job that I'm elected to do. Judge Charlie Coford tells me currently our public defenders are the lowest paid in the state of Florida. He is right now working on a new salary model that's a tiered approach, rewarding longtime employees and not just personal friends. To help, he's also not planning to replace 12 employees who resigned with Matt Shirk, freeing up close to a million dollars in the budget. In the studio, Lindsay Gardner, Channel 4, the local station.